This is my garage. This is my bike. Love it. <clears throat> it's compact to say the least. Coming in about two meters for two meters. I need to do an oil change. It'd probably make more sense to do the oil change outside, but it's raining and there's a metaphor in there somewhere for doing the best with what you've got. For example, the table. Let's just move this out of the way. Now it's time to play Tetris. The pop-up stand in this situation is an absolute godsend to be honest. Just because trying to swing a bike around in here is more difficult than you'd think. Fortunately for me, I've already dropped the oil out of this last time I was at the track because it makes more sense. So before we play Tetris, let me double check the torque settings on the bolts, on the sump plugs, to make sure whatever we dump in doesn't fall straight back out. And to make it a bit more bearable, let's have a little beer. Delicious. But I can't remember what the specs were for the sump plugs on both gearbox and engine oil. Fortunately, we've got the owner's manual. So let's have a look and see where we're at. Right, engine oil, sump plug number two, 16 newton meters. So let's do that one first. Make sure he's done that nicely. Oh, hang on. Don't trust that. It's going to click straight away, then it clicked off. Right. And this is where the fun starts. Oh, fuck. Beer camp. I've been doing motocross for many years now and when I first started it wasn't the easiest ride so I'm not complaining however we didn't have unlimited funds so it was important that things like oil changes filter changes and general maintenance was kept up because I couldn't afford for the bike to go catastrophically wrong so for my I think I think that I found for myself a level of responsibility through my hobby and that discipline, I think, is what allowed me to do it for as many years as I did with the budget that I had. But you know, it's funny. 2006, for me, was my favourite year. I was, I must have been 16 years old, just moved up onto a wide 125 at the time. And my whole world was bikes. And for some people that might be strange, they might have had their best years in school. 
for me was at, for me it was at the track it was a great it was some really great years i mean people we met things we learned i suppose form who you are as a person today um you know when i think back to it maybe there was more to it than just going to a track on a weekend and laying down some laps i'm not a stranger to it and there's things you learn that you read in the, the instruction manual won't tell you i suppose what i'm trying to say is that knowledge is translated as preparedness this job for example i know the oil filter on here the the, the seal on the casing always splits so before i even started I made sure I had a oil change seal kit available. Saying that, there's me talking about being prepared with O-rings. Check that. That bolt stretched. I was lucky. Good job I wasn't riding that when that was coming out. See? Check your oil. The back up what I was saying about preparedness, I have the bolt pack with a spare one in it. In fact, I made that. I made this. <laughs> there we go. Bingo. Yeah, funny story about MD. I was the brand designer for this. And um, the company I worked for was actually the first company, no, it was actually the first job I had um, straight out of university. Um, yeah, I went to the university to do graphic design. Um, yeah, landed the job and just so happened to be, they just so happened to hold the account for uh, MD Racing Products, which is based in Yeovil, and they are a business to business sort of wholesale motocross shop motocross off-road anything um and they had the ufo plastics account which made them unique um and it was a really cool cool time to work on something that you love but you're also getting paid for it in a different capacity because that's just one sure thing was i was never gonna be able to ride at a level where i was being paid to do so right New oil filter in, job done on the what that part. So just to prove myself right or wrong. Beer can. It's not a high point, it's not the high point of my life, but Saturday night, from about 32 years old, having a beer, doing the oil change on my bike. Strange what we find enjoyment from, isn't it? Someone else, when they're doing work on things, talking a bit of a weird voice to themselves. Whereas even when it's in your head, you talk a bit like this. It's like, oh, look at that bit of dirt there. It's not, it's not your real voice. I don't know. <laughs> Surely it's not just me. It has to be other people. <laughs> I hope so. Right, so in this side, what do I need? Yeah, not a lot. 0.68 litres story behind that whole MDR thing earlier is because uh, if it wasn't for motocross I wouldn't have ended up doing what I do as, a, as my day job this, you know, the thing that keeps the roof over my head the fridge full of food um, my graphic designer <laughs> it's purely because when I was younger I couldn't have the bike I used to ponder over pictures any videos and whatnot of what was available to me at that, at that time it was before before the internet was really a big thing to be honest but yeah I mean if it wasn't for motocross, it's strange to think. I don't know. I don't know what job I would have ended up in. Right. I need a little funnel because that's taking a piss. It's taking ages. I'll be here all night. Easy. Oh, shit. That's what I want. I think that's the only benefit of having the small working space. You barely have to move to get anywhere. Yeah, I don't know if it'll translate to the video, especially because the GoPro is really wide angle, but trying to drop the oil in this garage is, that is a special skill in itself. I mean, that's right, part one, complete. We'll take that, good job. No spills anywhere. This is nice and clean to go back in. I mean, we could wrap this video up with something quite cliche, you know, 
you know, maintain yourself, change your own life oils and things will be fine. I mean, that's not that's not what I'm trying to say. I think I'm just trying to say, keep think, take care of things, make sure they last. Um, enjoy things, even if you're not the best at them. Um, you don't know where the correlation and where that's going to take you. I mean, I didn't know <laughs> having an interest in bikes was going to take me off to corporate London graphic design jobs. And uh, yeah, I I just think hard work will pay off, you know, <laughs> trying to change oil in a tiny garage, for example. If you don't do it, your bike's going to work and you won't have a bike at all. There we go. That's, uh, <laughs> that's job done until... It gets rid of next door, it gets stolen. Don't steal my bike. So there we have it. Job done. To be continued, maintenance never ends. <laughs>